We're on the flight to PV. We're on the flight. It is a book flight sold out. Oh, my bad. So it is night number one and we are at our favorite taqueria, it's called Las Guerra. It is hard to find, it is a little family taqueria and they are cooking El Pastor outside and if you don't know what El Pastor is, they layer up, it's, what is it, pork and there's, yeah, all different sorts of meats and they marinate it all day long. They top it with the pineapple. You can get it on a, a tortilla shell, a tostada, um, and they shave off the meat along with that pineapple and catch it in your shell and serve it to you that way. And we also got queso fondido. This is the best al pastor in town, and they give you a plate of sauces which will like rock your world. This is some tough work, y'all. It is hot out here, and but it is so good. So this is called a volcano. It is with the El Pastor meat on a crispy tostada, and I had cheese put on there. So I am excited to eat this. The same El Pastor on fresh made tortilla shells with no queso, no cheese. Oh, what you gonna put on there? We're waiting on our sauces. Mm. Oh, yeah. Gracias. Oh, that is so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all. This is the best stuff. You just have to try them and figure them out. This one's a little hot, poquito. This is no hot, and these are hot, hot, and hot. So, Randy likes hot. He's going for it. I am a poquito gal. He hot. So, when you get the spicy meat and a bite of that sweet pineapple, it is unbelievable. That is so good. Hey, so good. Good morning from Puerto Vallarta. Y'all listen to the sounds and the commotion of Old Town Puerto Vallarta. It is day one. I got up, y'all, I slept in. Y'all know I'm an early bird, but I was so exhausted from yesterday's travel. I slept in, I got up at 8.15, I've been outside, it's like 10 o'clock right now, I've had my coffee, I've had my Mexican pastry, and I'm a happy girl. But Randy and I are just putting on some clothes and we're gonna go down and just kinda investigate where we are. We're staying in a condo that's new to us. We're familiar with the area, but there's several entrances to this condo building. You can be on the mountainside, you can be on the beach side. So we're gonna walk down to the beach um, and just kind of get our bearings for a minute. And if you can see the ocean behind me, just to tell you where we are, Puerto Vallarta is on the Pacific 
ocean side of Mexico and it is situated on the beautiful Bay of Banderas. So we're just out walking the street y'all trying to get our bearings and look at this Everything in Vallarta is so super cute. Vallarta is situated on a half moon bay called the Bay of Banderas. And we stay on the South Bay in an area called the Romantic Zone or Old Town or Alta Vista it's called. Um, we do not stay in the large tourist areas with the big hotels. Everything here is local and small and old and it really feels like Mexico. And that is why we love Puerto Vallarta. So you can walk around the streets and just find these little gems. Look how cute this little place is. There's always vendors on the street selling the best looking fruit. And so this is where I'm gonna get my berries. This is, Carlos. Your number? Carlos. Carlos. He, Carlos. he sells the fruit on the street. So we're getting our raspberries and it's 80 pesos, but roughly, roughly $4 for a huge container of awesome raspberries. So I'm gonna take these back to our condo and this will be my breakfast. So I told you all, if you watch my video, pack with me that- You watch Michigan State? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Randy talks to everybody, <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> but I told you all that where we were going was in the mountains we're, and in the hills. We're Kentucky, so and we're Kentucky <laughs> fans, yes. <laughs> Even though we are very close to the beach, we're only like a block and a half off of the beach, we are still in pretty significant hills. And so I'm gonna show you all what it looks like to walk up because it is directly uphill. So we're gonna head up. I think we're gonna hang out at our rooftop pool today, but let's, hit, let's, let's get up the hill here. This is our front door, y'all. 353 Amapis. We're on the beach side, and this is our entrance. So this is down. This is up. And that is our access to the beach. We've been here 12 hours, and we're already got an injury. Right, babe? Seriously. He cut his big toe on a stone around the pool, bleeding everywhere. I had no idea a big toe could bleed like that, <laughs> but somebody staying here went and got him a band-aid. So he has got the foot elevated and so we're just going to sit here. We're going to drink beer and eat Doritos. Mexican Doritos. Yeah. The Doritos, Doritos in Mexico. I know it says Doritos. It looks like Doritos. They are spicy. The Cheetos here are spicy. Like all the chips have a different like flavor profile on them. They are not the Doritos you expect. So I'm always surprised every time I eat the first one because they're so spicy. The Doritos are not too bad. The Cheetos though are startling how different they are. But we're just gonna sit here with toe up eat some Doritos, we're drinking beer, and um, I don't know, figure out where we wanna go for dinner tonight. So this is our beach access. We just came down that little sucker and we still have about another half to go, but we're just headed to the beach. We're gonna just walk around and see what we see, but look at those hefty stairs. Still going down. Woo! Oh shoot! I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Down, down, still more down. <sighs> okay. The beach. 
Good. It sounded good. It kind of to the beach. Rose the green. To the beach. We're at the beach. So look, y'all. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you said that was, was that cold? cold? I missed that. I missed it getting you. It's gonna come off. So it is technically night number one. Hmm. Technically night number one and we're headed out to dinner. It's a little Italian place and I can never remember what it's called. Like for the life of me, I just know where it is. But normally you have to have a reservation. That's where we're headed. And I came in, took a shower. I feel so much better since I washed my hair. Oh my gosh, so much better. So Y'all know Randy has all these stupid t-shirts, but look what he's wearing. The skip ad shirt. I'm filming for YouTube and he loves the skip ad shirt. I'm wearing a little camo t-shirt and some pants. So yeah, I'm with Mr. Skip Ad and Mr. Hurt Toe heading to dinner. We, we had to go buy band-aids and peroxide to wash out his toe and we got some waterproof band-aids and he's all done up for the night. So hopefully it won't bleed, but yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. So we just had one of the best Italian meals. There is a little gym of a restaurant here. You can see, see it behind me called Di Nuovo. And we walk right by it all the time. And last year we decided to stop. It just looks like a little hole in the wall Italian place. It is a, you wouldn't believe what's inside. When you take, they take you into the back. There is like a garden seating area in the back. It is the cutest little Italian restaurant with absolutely delicious food. And the kitchen is out in the middle of their restaurant. You can see them cooking and everything. And it is so fresh and so good. Randy had chicken parmesan. I had, I don't know what it was called. It was fresh ravioli with uh, spinach and ricotta cheese. It had salmon and then it had flaming brandy sauce, like a cream sauce with flaming brandy. And their bread, an arugula aioli pesto butter that they brought you with the bread. And we ate two whole baskets of bread because it was so stinking good. And then we had bruschetta as an appetizer and a big glass of sangria. We are stuffed. It's 8.30 on Thursday night. Not too busy, but it's a beautiful night. We're gonna walk around, check things out, and then I think we're gonna go to our favorite churro bar for dessert. So we've been walking around, and we're stopping for dessert, and you are gonna be so jealous when you see what we're getting ready to eat. night it has been a fantastic day one we've had lots of good food we had beach time we had pool time and we have a big day tomorrow we have reservations at our favorite um, little place on the beach called La Palapa we have chairs reserved we had to be there at 10 o'clock and we're just gonna sit on the beach all day long so I'm getting ready to go get in my jammies wash my face I'm gonna sit outside and just kind of listen to the ocean for a while and then I'm gonna go to bed with a full belly. Dinner, oh my gosh, was incredible. And then we topped it off with those churros. It was the perfect end to a great day in Puerto Vallarta. So I'll see you tomorrow.